The primary engine of Afghanistan's recovering economy is its agriculture industry, which engages approximately 80% of the working population. Rejuvenation of the horticulture industry, one of the most important sectors in Afghan agriculture, is therefore a government priority and plays a vital role in the overall recovery of Afghan economy. To strengthen the horticulture sector of Afghanistan, EC has been supporting PHGP, Perennial Horticulture Development Project and Plant Biotechnology Laboratory, among other projects. The main objective of the project is to provide true-to-type, ecotype, and healthy planting materials of local fruit varieties to nursery growers and ultimately for the rehabilitation and establishment of new orchards. These efforts specifically focus on increasing access to improved and appropriate planting materials in order to raise quantity and quality of more competitive horticultural products. Established in 2008 by the Aga Han Foundation and with financial support from the EC, the Plant Biotechnology Lab and its services in quality control and management of the horticulture input chains is considered as an essential support to the development of the horticulture sector. The laboratory began screening the health status of the Afghan germplasm, national collection, and mother stock nurseries in order to ensure multiplication of not only the best selected varieties or ecotypes, but also to avoid production and distribution of virus-infected fruit trees. At the moment, the Plant Biotechnology Lab, located in Kabul, is providing services to PHDP and its partners by analyzing the national collections and mother stock nurseries of national and exotic germplasm on an annual basis. The laboratory is well equipped with latest technologies and updated protocols are used to detect and identify fruit crops diseases. Each year, plant samples are collected for lab analysis from various agroecological zones of Afghanistan. ELISA technique is an advanced and a reliable test on a large-scale sample analysis and disease surveys. Since the establishment of the lab, thousands of fruit tree samples have been analyzed from various national collections and mother stock nurseries. Several important viruses of fruit trees have been detected and identified through this method. I was the team leader of the first perennial horticulture development project, which we started in 2006. Uh, the main objective is to collect all the varieties of fruit and nuts in Afghanistan, uh, identify what they are, and then introduce disease-free, true-to-type plants to the farmers of Afghanistan. So one of the early things we did was put in place a program to introduce a laboratory here to test all these different varieties of plants for virus. The project in conjunction with the Aga Khan Foundation to do these laboratories. The program has been working with our collection which is something over a thousand varieties of fruit and nuts. We've got almonds, peaches, apricots, uh, pomegranates, grapes, and we've got citrus, different species. And uh, there's been a program of testing virus in our national collection and then also in the nurseries where they produce the trees. Luckily, we found the level of infection in the nuts and the varieties here is quite low and we're able to proceed quite fast with the project. So at the moment we can say we're pretty well 99% of the trees that are released to the farmers are free of disease. And this is the important result of this laboratory for our project. Plant Biotechnology Lab has a special unit for the diagnosis of bacterial and fungal diseases of fruit trees. 
Samples from the national collections and mother stock nurseries, as well as from the private orchards, are tested by skilled and technical staff. Upon the completion of lab testing, advice and recommendations are provided to farmers and nursery owners for control and eradication of detected and identified diseases. یکی از گپ های سیستم تصدیقی من است که ما موادی سیادمنده برای باغدارای خود تولید کنیم. در این راستا بسیار مهم است که ما لابراتواری داشته باشیم که همیشه از این قوریای مادری و قوریجات تصدیقی که بالاخره از اون طریق قوریای تصدیقی ما نیاره برای باغدار توضیح میکنیم این را داشته باشیم برای در این راستا ما لابراتواری بیوتکنولوژی که در قبلا برای شما تشریحات داده شده از این دائما وارسی میکنه از این سمپل میگرن و آزمایش میکنن که این از نگاه سیادمندی سیادمندی کامل داره اگر بینان یک امری مهم و جدی که در سیستم تصدیقی ایجاب میکنه داشتن لابراتوار به خاطر سیادمند بودن مواد نباتی یا نیالایی که برای دیاخین توضیح میشه ای است و رول بسیار با ارزش را در تولید تصدیقی بودن لابراتوار با آزمایش دائمی مواد نباتی که عبارت باشه از قوریجات مادری و قوریجات تصدیقی و روستاکایی که بسیار مهم است برای تولید این حال و کیفیت های خوب را داره ای را از طریق لابراتوار انجام میشه از سیادمند بودن مواد نباتی در بخش تولید این حال لابراتوار مسئولیت آم و تام داره و امرای ما امرای مسیح ملی قوریه داره افغانستان همیشه همکاری خود داره PCR technique is an advanced and reliable technique of molecular biology for the detection and identification of plant pathogens. In this technique, the genetic material RNA, DNA of the pathogens are studied. Prior to the establishment of this facility inside the lab, the samples were being sent abroad for cross-checking and verification of test results. It is important to note that many of the plant pathogens that cannot be detected by routine lab tests are easily detected and identified through PCR technique. Now the samples are tested and the results are verified in the same lab. مسی ملی انکشاف باغداری افغانستان توسط یک حیات مدیری که متشکل از استادای پهندون تاجرها صادر کنده های میوه های خشک و تازه رهبری میشه و در سال 2012 یک قرارداد با اتحادی اروپا برزشی یک اشاری سی میلیون یورو بست که مسئولیت حفظ نگهداری و انکشاف باغات نمایشی کلکسون های ملی در شش مرکز باغداری افغانستان در کابل در بادام باغ است در جلال آباد در فارم جدید است در قندهار در فارم کوکران در هرات در فارم اردوخان در مزار شریف در فارم دهدادی و همچنان در کندوز در فارم مرکزی کندوز واقع است مسئولیت از اونا را به هده گرفته که امکاری لابراتوار با تکنولوژی نباتی که توسط محسی آخان اداره میشه امکاری از اونها رو داره اینا وقتا فوقتا میرن از باغات نمویشی و از کارهای ما بررسی میکنن نمونگیری میکنن و تستای مورد نیاز اینا انجام میدن For the propagation of certified planting material and virus cleaning procedures, Plant Biotechnology Lab has a specialized unit of plant tissue culture. Various types of rootstocks such as GF677, CAB11E, FOX, 
16E, Pyrold Wharf, and Giselle 5 are being propagated successfully in the lab. As compared to local rootstock, these rootstocks have more resistance against diseases and environmental stress. Several infected species with plant virus have been cleaned by micrografting in the tissue culture unit. The Citrus Promotion Group is the first time that مختلف اداره مختلف ارگانونو په شرخی زون که د سترس و په پرمختاک که فعالیت شروع کرد خدا غم مختلف ارگانون یا د بل سر هم هنگ نو هم غی نو مطلب این فعالیت بعد توی دارو پوسته تر سر که دلو نباید دید پاره چیز منگ داغ تول فعالیتونا با سترس و که سر هم غی او یا هدف تسره ورسی گونو داغ تول ارگانونو د سترس پروموشن گروپ پنوم باندی موافقه و کرده داغ سیاو دل به جور کو داغ سیاو گروپ جور کو او داغ تول پکی وزیت ولری د نگرار د زرایت ریاست مختلف نور همکار موسسه دوی داغ گروپ کی غری توب لری د دی تر سانگ زمینگی او دیر مهم غره چه د بیوتکنولوژی لابراتوار ده در ترتول زیاد فعالیت چه پا داغا گروپ که لری هم داغا زمان داغا ده بیوتکنولوژی لابراتوار برخه ده چه دوی منگ سره ده امراض و او هم دارنگا ده تیشو کلچر پا برخه که پا دی که فعالیت که ده مثال پا داول پا اولین زل پا افغانستان که چه ده سترس و پا پاش که ده تریسیزا پا نوم بانی و خطرناک ویرس کشف شو اغا دم دی لابراتوار پامکاری سر او پیش اندل شد. دیگر ترسان دنور و امراض پتشخیص که من سر امراض است که این مثال پر داول داغ نیز دو وقت نیو که یا امراض چه اگه فزند روت ساکنی یا پنیلا بطور باند دستروس و حمله کاولا چه دستروس که د فایت اف تورا گاموسیس یا د کند ناروغی امراض ده نو هرکه که من سر د لابراتوار دیر زیاد امراض است که نو من گوس پل لابراتوار باند دیر زیاد تا که یو من خوشحاله یو چه پاوانستان که داغ سیو لابراتوار لرو چه در غمراز منگ تدل تا تشخیصی و یک باقی مادری در حدود پنیسد چند درخت از طرف دفتر ایو به ما داده شده و این ضرورت به باز آزمایشات لابراتوری داره دفتر آقا خان که در تشکیل شده از مدت چند سال دو سال میشه که تشکیل شده ما پرسنل از اینا میان از باقای ما نمونه گیری میکنن چون در این منطقه امراض وایرسی هم هست امراض قارچی هم هست بکتریایی و حتی نمتود ها و لحاظه از اینمی که نمونه میگیرن مشکلات ما را رفع میسازن ما اظهار سپاس میکنیم به خاطر از اینکه درختا اگر حمایت و وقایه نشه و تداوی نشه فله هاذ ای تمام محصولات ما شاید در آینده هم به کیفیت شو و هم حاصلات به این بیاید و از بین بره Since the establishment of the lab, the health status of hundreds clones of fruit varieties from all six centers of PhDCs and mother stock nurseries have been verified by the lab. Currently, only the certified planting materials are distributed to nursery growers and farmers. Several deleterious pests and diseases have been identified. The lab is playing a key role in control and eradication of these diseases. Links have been developed with international suppliers for high-quality tests, reagents, and chemicals. And the laboratory is taking technical guidance and support from international laboratories and institutions and experts. The lab plays a significant role in building the capacity of nursery growers, farmers, university students, and technical staff of government agencies. Training materials are developed and distributed to target groups. Results are published internationally and the experience is shared at both the national and international levels and the laboratory is actively participating in the policy dialogue for the eradication and control of pests and diseases in crops. زمان پیغام تولو خوری دارن و ابرد دارن و رونت داده که دو مورانی کریو آورد باغونو جلو ول دپاره همیشه تصدیقی نیاکی و کاروی 
ځکه چې د دې ډول نیالګیو په کارولو سره ستاسې بوټي تر ډېره کچه د مرضو څخه پاک وي او تر څنګ یې تاسې ته په زړه پورې زیات حاصلات درکوي چې په نتیجه کې ستاسې کورنۍ اقتصاد پیاوړی کېږي